The Lone Star Legislative Summit has wrapped up at Stephen of Austin State University. Hundreds of community leaders attended to hear from politicians addressing state and local issues. As KTRE's Marilyn Gonzalez reports, officials spoke on education and infrastructure needs. State Representative Travis Clardy and State Senator Robert Nichols co-hosted the Lone Star Legislative Summit over the last two days bringing in state legislators to Deep East Texas. Discussion panels were held at Stephen F. Austin State University, focusing on education and infrastructure. District 18 Representative Ernest Bales spoke on career technical education being an important tool for students. To be a part of the community in a very successful fashion. So however best we can foster that, I think that should be our top priority here going forward. Voters approved the $1.5 billion broadband expansion fund in November. State Senator Nichols believes established internet connectivity companies will play a role in broadband sustainability. And these are organizations who have a history of taking care of their infrastructure. The additional electric vehicle registration fees took effect last September. Representative Trent Ashby believes it will help continue to fund state highway funds and gas taxes. Hopefully that will make sure that as we see more electric vehicles on the road that uh, we still have the, the income necessary to provide for the update. Ashby also gave an update on Interstate Highway 69 and says Polk County is next in line to get started on a segment of the project. Mariela Gonzalez, KTRE East Texas News 9. Now this event is hosted every two years.